Hey, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create the details page when someone will click this details link to see uh, the details of this pro product. So we can create a details page for, uh, uh, in this lecture. But can you observe this? Uh, you know this area that it is not really looking really good because uh, there is no content. So you can see this is split, split or here. So if you uh, want to fill it with a black color, then uh, we can simply go to Styler CSS, and there is main ripper. Main ripper, the which is that is a ripper which is holding the whole project from here to here. So we can add a background color to this main ripper. So that area will be filled with black color if there is no content. So simply just go in write background and background will be black black color control s to, s to save just refresh the page and you will see this area is filled now so it is looking better now the whole design because that was making a little bit confusion so now we need to create the page I mean the details page so very simply we can make a copy of this page in index.php simply go to file menu and click save is save is mean you are creating a copy of this page and rename it details.php so this is the details page okay now this has become the details page you can just simply remove this thing I mean the get pro the get pro function that we have called or here because this is now the details you can see over here you can observe details.php page so we can remove this and control is to save now when you will go over here refresh the page and if you click the details so you will be taken to a page where no data is appearing but you can observe above in the browser that the, this page is now details.php and product ID is equal to 6 so that's mean we can get that ID directly from there So very simply uh, just go to function functions and copy this whole thing copy this whole uh, script and come back over here paste it here you need to put it PHP starting tag and ending tag as well PHP end so now what we need to do is very simply just uh, we'll use if is set if is set dollar underscore get this time because uh, we have a get variable there in the URL basically uh, if is set dollar underscore get we have to add a value over here or uh, in this curly bracket we'll be holding the whole PHP script tell here if that is clicked then we can execute or this uh, code we can execute or get the data when something is set or something is active so basically we have given you know in previous video uh, pro underscore ID variable URL variable in previous page in this index page so we have to take that variable or here by saying uh, if I said uh, underscore get inside the square, uh, square brackets we will just write that pro underscore id that's mean that is the variable name the url variable name and now we will simply create a new variable product underscore id which will be equal to dollar underscore get 
because we are getting the variable from the URL and that is actually pro underscore ID uh, we say this is Ictio pro underscore ID then we created a simple local variable and we have got that pro ID using get method php get predefined variable or super global array you can say this is a default command which get the data from the uh, URL from the address bar we have passed that uh, product ID to this local variable and now we will run a query get pro select all from products here we need to remove this order etc we say select from products where product underscore ID is equal to this ID product ID basically we have used where condition over here and uh, we have we are telling the script that select all from products yes the products table we have inside the database or here this one select all from there but in that table where product ID field is equal to this one which is coming then call or retrieve the data from that table where this ID is existing otherwise it will not take the data from there and now other things are similar run pro run pro mysql connection pro and similar and mysql fetch things like that very simple uh, we don't need basically the category IDs or here uh, we only need title price image and furthermore we need pro DSC means product description so we can simply get that as well product description DSC now simply uh, remove this height and width so the person can see the whole of the images or you can simply say width will be 400 pixel and height will be 300 pixel that's it and price and we don't need details now instead of details we can add something like uh, go back a button go back and uh, link will be index.php control is to save <coughs> now it this script should display the exact product with all the details because we have given the condition that a pro underscore id is active then get the id from that using the get method and pass it to the local variable and then we have run the query in where we saying if the product id inside the table a field name product id is equal to this coming id then bring this data from the database that's fine and there will be a single record we know that because one product id has one record no more let's come over here refresh the page and click this 901 sorry I clicked it to cart instead of details now click details and uh, it is saying that uh, in line number 91 there is syntax error check out if it's set if it's set of course there is syntax error I have removed the syntax error there was an additional uh, parenthesis so I have removed that now replace the page and you can see Samsung camera with full image and uh, this is the price and go back and add to cart etc anyways we can also add the description we can also display the description below the price just simply add a paragraph tick and here pro underscore description we have already called from the database or here you can see and we can remove actually from the index page we can remove this product 
box you don't need in the details page remove this new as well control s to save now come here refresh the page you can see this basically we need that box because we have styled that up <coughs> refresh now you can see the product and this is uh, also the description and uh, the price and one person can add it to cart from here as well and go back if you click go back will be taken to this page I mean the index page you click this oh -ho. If you click this camera details you can see the camera if you go back can go back you click this you will see this you can use go back so this is done now the details page you can change the content as far as your requirements but uh, uh, I will keep things very simple now this is you know the home page the index.php page so there are selected some random products if you have more products more and more products in our uh, you know table so there will be only six products randomly displayed on this page however if someone clicks the categories any of the categories from here or the brands so we must create a script for this as well so if someone clicks this any of the categories or any of the brands so products relevant to that category or products relevant to that brand should only be displayed over here because right now we don't have anything if you click it uh, this uh, cannot show you anything or here in the main page so therefore we will actually work on this in our next video after that we will go further in this project stay tuned